The Old Testament was written thousands of years ago, but it was only part one of the greatest story ever told. Many, many years later, the Bible sequel came about. It was called the New Testament and made lots of people shout. But what if I were to tell you that there's more of the story to hear? What if there's more Bible to read? <laughs> now I've got your ear. Just like Lord of the Rings and Star Wars, the Bible is a trilogy too. And if you don't read or see part three, it'll all be confusing to you. A part three of the Bible? That's amazing. Jewish people like part one. Christians think part two is best. But in part three, everything gets wrapped up and all your questions put to rest. Part three has all your favorite characters and lots of new ones too. And a whole lot more twists and turns and every word of it's true. Just like Godfather and Terminator, the Bible is a trilogy too. And if you don't read or see part three, it'll all be confusing to you. I'm gonna take you back in time to the ancient land of the United States, 1823. A little American boy named Joe living on a farm in the holy land of Albany, New York. You mean the Mormon prophet Joseph Smith? That's right, that little boy spoke to God. He spoke to God? And God said, Joe, people really need to know that the Bible isn't two parts. There's a part three to the Bible, Joe. And I, God, have anointed you to dig up this part three, which is buried by a tree on a hill in your backyard. Wow, what happened next? Prophet Joe went up on that hill and he dug up the ancient book. And he rushed and hurried into town and said, Everyone, take a look. God just spoke to me and gave me this blessed ancient tome. With haste, let us copy it and put it in every home. Just like Back to the Future and Rush Hour, the Bible is a trilogy too. And if you don't read or see part three, it'll all be confusing to you. Did you think it was weird in part two when Jesus died for just three days? Well, that's paid off in part three and the whole thing gets explained. And if you got confused, what happened to all the Jews who were set up so well in part one? They totally rally in the thrilling finale, and the payoff was rollicking, gripping and moving, a sensational epic of nail-biting family fun! <laughs> Just like Austin Powers and the Bourne films, the Bible is a trilogy too. No, it's not a myth, thank Joseph Smith for bringing the finale to you. Now, many people in town didn't believe the prophet Joseph Smith. They thought he'd made up this part three that was buried by a tree on a hill in his backyard. Many people even called Joseph Smith a liar. But why would he lie? He's a prophet. Right. So Joe said, This is no lie. I speak to God all the time, and he's told me to head west. So I'll take my part three from the hill with the tree. Feel free if you'd like to come along with me to the promised land. The promised land? Paradise on the west coast. Nothing but water and fruit and fields as far as the eyes can see. And those were the very first Mormons? Wow, what an incredible offer. And if you don't read or see part three, it'll all be confusing to you. Did they find paradise? Mad Max was dark and sad, Road Warrior kind of stalled. But Mad Max 3 Beyond Thunderdome was the greatest one of all. And imagine if the Matrix had ended at the end of part two, or if it ended after the first one. You I actually thought the third Matrix was the worst one. Oh. Uh, okay, well... Anyway, now comes the part of our story that gets a little bit sad. On the way to the promised land, the Mormons made people mad. Prophet Joe was tarred and feathered and left alone to die. But even as his life drained away, people swore they heard him cry. Just like Mighty Ducks and Naked Gun, the Bible is a trilogy too. And if you choose not to believe me, it will just stay confusing to you. The prophet Joseph Smith died for what he believed, but his followers they kept heading west, and they found that promised land, a sparkling paradise they named Salt Lake City. 
and there they built a church and their new religion flourished and we come from there today to tell you what Joseph Smith told those early Mormons long ago. That just like Pirates of the Caribbean, the Bible is a trilogy too. You got to read the finale to get the whole world view. Don't give up on the Bible till you're completely through. Cause if you read or see part three, you'll reach the promised land too. Remember my friends, listen to me because I passed this way but once. Dum 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 dum